All right, we are at Toronto Waterfront Marathon 2024. This is Pat and I's um, 10 year anniversary for our first marathons in 2014. Nah, just ah, close. We got a great spot right across from the finish line area. Training has been going well for the last 12 weeks. I always thought carb loading was just having a big pasta dinner the night before the race. I'm aiming to hit 650 to 700 grams of carbs uh, for about a day, um, maybe 36 hours uh, before. Uh, two bagels for the morning, two bagels in the afternoon for lunch, four bottles of orange juice, that's about 160 grams now, uh, but oatmeal, dates, banana, protein powder, frozen fruit. Uh, so all that is about 550 plus uh, a large sort of rice, chicken, vegetable dinner, but I'm guessing this is going to be about 600 to 650. After we settled into our hotel, we went for a shakeout run to check, to check out the starting area and the first couple of kilometers of the, the route. The plan was to go for a sub three to even split the race, take it easy on that first hill, tuck in for the headwind sections, and check our manual splits throughout every 5k. The morning was routine, oatmeal, coffee, banana, some aids that I used, beetroot juice, sodium, Tylenol, carb load the day before. Nutrition for the day was going to be Morton 320s in two flasks and about three caffeinated Morton 100s. vibes were pretty great. The weather was pretty nice. Started off around 8 degrees. Let's go, last push. Last push. We're under. Toast. We did it. The stars need to align for a marathon PB to happen. I want to thank my friend Pat for all our runs together, my family for putting up with my crazy running schedule. I know I said that I would retire from marathoning if I went under three, but first a victory lap at Boston.